Hello and welcome to this tutorial on multi-block meshing of 2D geometry in open form. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a geometry with multiple blocks using block mesh dict, vary meshing parameters for each block, label the boundary patches, and view the mesh in Paraview. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, OpenFoam version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, and Gedit text editor. You may use any other text editor of your choice. As a prerequisite, you should be familiar with the creation of a basic geometry using the block mesh utility. If not, Please go through the prerequisite open form tutorial on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them and make a copy and use them while practicing. This is the geometry we will be creating and meshing later on. The left and right faces are the inlet and outlet respectively. The top and bottom faces are the two walls. The front and back faces are empty faces. The faces are empty as we are creating a geometry for a 2D simulation. Now open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T key. At the prompt, type the following command to go to the run directory. Here onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command in the terminal. Now, let us copy the case from the tutorials directory into the run directory. Type the following command to do so. We will only be creating and meshing the geometry, so we do not need the boundary conditions folder. Type the following command to delete the boundary conditions folder. Now open the block mesh dict file in a text editor. I am opening it in the gedit text editor. Select the contents of the file from vertices to the end of the document as shown. Then delete the selected section as we will be entering the input parameters. Next, open the multiblock.txt file that you had downloaded in the text editor. Copy the entire content of the text file. Paste the copied content into the block mesh dict file as shown. And save the file. The geometry is divided into two blocks as shown in the figure. There are 12 vertices and they are numbered as shown. Note that the vertex numbering starts from 0. Let me switch back to the block mesh dict file. Let us enter the coordinates of vertices in ascending order of their vertex number. The vertices are defined using the list vertices. The coordinates of the 12 vertices are entered as shown. Now, let us see how the blocks for this geometry are defined. The geometry is divided into two blocks. This division enables us to mesh the top and bottom sections of the geometry differently. The blocks are numbered as shown. Block 1 is defined as shown. We use hexahedral blocks for meshing. We will enter the vertices that define block 1. We first enter the vertices of the lower xy plane. To define block 1, we first enter the vertices of the back face and then that of the front face. When viewed along the negative z direction, the vertices should be ordered counterclockwise. Following this convention, the vertices of the back face are 0, 1, 3 and 2. The corresponding order of the front face is 6, 7, 9 and 8. 
the vertices of block 1 are therefore entered in the order as shown. The number of cells in each direction is defined as shown. There is only one cell in the z direction as this is the mesh for 2D simulation in XY plane. We use simple grading as the cells have uniform expansion in all directions. The ratio of width of the end cell to that of the start cell in a direction is its expansion ratio. The expansion ratio in each direction is defined as shown. This means that all cells have uniform width along x direction. The same is the case for z direction. However, along the y direction, the end cell is 10 times as wide as the start cell. Block 2 is defined as shown. The expansion ratio in y direction is the only parameter different in block 2 from that of 1. Along y direction, the end cell is now only 0.1 times as wide as the start cell. Since all the edges of the channel geometry are straight lines, we leave the edges field empty. Let us label the boundary patches now. The bottom and top face is as shown in the figure. We shall name them wall bottom and wall top respectively. Each face resembles the characteristics of a solid wall. Hence, the face is of the type wall. The two faces are defined as shown. We need to impose cyclic boundary conditions on the inlet and outlet faces of block 1. The face type for a cyclic patch is defined using the keyword cyclic. The pair of faces are linked to each other through the keyword neighbor patch. The inlet and outlet faces of block 1 are named in 1 and out 1 respectively. The same for block 2 are named in 2 and out 2 respectively. The inlet face of block 1 is defined as shown. The boundary face type is cyclic. The outlet face is linked to the inlet face using the keyword neighbor patch. The vertices of the inlet face are ordered in clockwise direction when viewed from inside of block 1. The outlet face of block 1 is defined as shown here. The inlet and outlet faces of block 2 are defined as shown here. The back and front faces of block 1 are named sides 1 underscore half 0 and sides 1 underscore half 1 respectively. The back and front faces of block 2 are named sides 2 underscore half 0 and sides 2 underscore half 1 respectively. We are creating a geometry for a 2D simulation in the XY plane. Therefore, the faces normal to Z direction are kept empty. The back face of block 1 is defined as shown. Note that we have kept the face empty. Similarly, we define the other three faces. We have now finished labeling all the boundary patches. Since we do not have any patches to merge, we leave the merge patch pairs field empty. We have now entered all the necessary fields, save and close the file. Come to the terminal and type CD space channel 395. To mesh the geometry, type block mesh and press enter. The meshing is now complete. To view the mesh in parallel, type paraform. Click on Apply in the Properties tab. Click on Surface, available in the Active Variables control, and change it to Surface with Edges. We can now see the mesh structure in the XY plane. Notice the mesh refinement near the top and bottom faces of the geometry. And now close the Paraview window. With this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. To summarize,
In this tutorial, we have learned to create a geometry with multiple blocks using block mesh text, vary meshing parameters for each block, label the boundary patches, and view the mesh in parallel. As an assignment, create a geometry having dimensions 5 meters, 4 meters, and 3 meters along x, y, and z axis. Divide the geometry into two equal blocks along the x-axis. Mesh the geometry such that it has 25, 20 and 1 cell along x, y and z-axis for each block. Set expansion ratio as 10, 1 and 1 along the x, y and z-axis for both the blocks. And view the mesh in parallel. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in this link. The FOSSI team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using open form. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Ashley Melvin. And this is Sweta Shredar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.